Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to be installing security cameras around our house. So I'm going to start straight away. I've looked around, I've got a garage. So I'm thinking the first thing that needs to be done is just scouting around where should a camera go. So I reckon if I put one over there, I'll have a nice vantage point of this door. And maybe if I put one over there, I'll get a kind of another vantage for the other side. You can always put someone there pointing that way. There's loads of different places you can place these cameras. So I'm going to start, I think that is the place I'm going to start with. So over here, we got a, a nice gutter. We can always affix the camera to, and we'll drill a hole through and I'll get us access to the attic and hopefully be able to run the cables through that way. So that's the idea, that's the theory. Next, we need to test it out. So I'm gonna go into the garage. And over here, I've got my NVR. This is the recorder for all the security cameras. I've got the 16 port version. I've also got a video on how I set it up, connected to my Mac, connected to my router for Wi-Fi and all that kind of stuff securely. So check that guy out if you're interested in knowing how to set it up and not the install. But now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of these long cables that came with the pack. I'm gonna plug it into the camera. Then I'm gonna affix some tape so I can temporarily see, get a preview of the angle that it's gonna end up with. Because although, if you check out the Moxie material, it says ultra wide, wide viewing angle, all that stuff in real life, it's not that wide. So it's good to scout it out yourself, see how it looks like. Now you just need to place it at your desired location. And I've also brought up my smartphone because I've got this guy connected to my router. Again, check out the setup guide video to find out how to do that. And I've also got it running for a firewall so it doesn't go ahead and start accessing the internet. But just be a bit mindful because it is just duct tape holding this guy up so you don't have that much time to check out the angle. So I'm firing up the real link app at the moment. And I can see myself on the app. So I'm just playing around with the shot and I decided to move the camera just a little bit back. Two reasons. One, even though symmetrically it looks nicer here on the plans, I find that when it's hidden a bit behind this wall, it's less visible. Now it's up to you if you want your cameras visible or not. It's good to have them visible because it scares people away. But it's also not good having them visible because it makes your place look like a prison. So that's something to consider. I reckon mine looks nicer when it's a bit hidden away. So I'm gonna go for this angle here. But before I actually place it, I'm actually gonna go into the attic to see if I can access that place. So, let's put this down for now. So there's a couple of different ways to access the attic. One way is if you have an access panel, you can just go up there. I'll be doing that way. Alternatively, for my other roof, which I don't have an access panel for, you can get in by actually moving the tiles. Obviously everyone's house is different, but you can move the tiles and going through the roof that way, like Santa Claus, chimney style. I'm gonna be going up using the access panel. Now, it does get dusty up there, so uh, I'm being forced to wear PPE. Also got a nice bright light, so I can see what I'm doing up there. Now be careful, because there is running electricity cables up here. So try to be safe and mindful. All right, so this is the attic of the garage. If you look down, there's little planks of wood. You wanna be walking on the planks of wood and try distributing your weight over multiple planks. Like so. If you look around here, the corner I wanna to get to is over there. So I'm gonna be doing some crawling. I'm not that small, I'm not gonna be able to fit there. So this is why we're gonna be using something called fish tape. One thing I gotta say, it's pretty scary when looking down, so make sure you put your ladder straight. You ready? <laughs> Get a bit harder. Hey guys, just a quick update for this install that I showed you. Now, um, that was the first time I was installing security cameras, so I made a few mistakes of it the long way around. The second time I did it, I installed another one just over there. I learned a few things, and that is, use a spade bit. It's a lot more convenient because you get it nice and wide. You don't have to use that drilling situation I did. Just put a spade bit, spin it around, 
and it makes a nice big hole for it. I used a 22 and that was good. Secondly, secondly, you can't always place the cameras where you'd love them to be. There's something called joists and that is pieces of wood that are just randomly located across the beams of the garage. So there was actually one there which I started drilling into and it's just a plank of wood. So I filled it up, I probably filled it up, I'm going to paint it off. I'm going to paint it afterwards and make it look flush. But I had to install the security camera slightly further forward to avoid that piece of wood. It's called a joist. So here's a stud finder, pretty good. And you use it and it tells you where the joists are. This is fiberglass fish tape. And it's really rigid, as you can see here. It's nice and wide and thick. So I guess now I'm gonna go around the other end and see if I can find it. Can you pull it back out? Get it out. Yeah, I just wanna see if I can find it. All right, now put it in. Slowly. Slowly gone. Okay, keep on going. Again? Keep on going. So it's just over there. No. Keep on going. All right. It's just, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just over in that corner there. Keep going. Huh? Keep going. Huh? All right. Yeah. Perfect, managed to fish, fish it through, so we can get rid of this now. It's fun. I was like reaching in Indiana Jones style. Next up, we're just gonna mount the plate onto the wall since I've got the cable right here. It's my first time, I'm pretty happy about it. Look how happy you are. <laughs> How'd you I'm feel? I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. The first time we did it, we can even see the fish tape. Now it's here. I'm so, so happy. So in the pack, you get lots of screws and screw holders. If you actually just look at the piece, okay. it actually tells you that this one's six by 30. So I'm on drill bit number six. So I got the plate. Pop it on. Perfect. Thanks, we did that. Hey, you are a star. Okay, so according to the instructions, this pack comes with a waterproofing kit. Now, the instructions they show the cable cut. And they also give you new RJ45s to recrimp the situation. But I've actually been playing around with this and uh, just check this out. So you get a rubber washer and you gotta put that along the existing connection on the camera. You got sealant. And then you get two ends over here and another piece of rubber. And this rubber, even though it looks completely symmetrical, it does actually open up. There's a slight slit in it. It might be sticky when you first get it, but it does open up, so just remember that. So get a cable, feed that through. Then we get the rubber, open it up, and put it on this side. So you got the connection piece, the rubber, and then finally, you get this tool, and you feed the cable through. and connect it up. Now, if you made a mistake and you want to undo it, this doesn't actually easily fit back up through. But you can get it through. You just get a flat screwdriver and you just need to tag on this bit because it gets stuck on these pieces. So as long as you do that, you can get it out. I've done it before. But since I'm confident with this, I'm just gonna connect it up. 
you attach these two pieces together. This screws in and then you push the rubber forwards to the back. Push it as far in as you can. And then push the back piece and screw it in. So you got two pieces of rubber, rubber here, rubber here. It should make it more water sealed. Of course, refer to the official documentation because the official documentation show the cut cord. How pleasing is that to see, finally. <laughs> oh my gosh, well done oh, you. look at that. Well done you, Ash. It all the way through. Well done. Do a nice little clean. Now, some tips. Now, some tips. I'm not gonna do this yet because I still wanna play around with the angle, spin it around. But, in case you don't know, you can easily unscrew it. Anyone can easily just come up to your camera and unscrew it if they don't like it. Of course, you'll get them the footage of them unscrewing it. So perhaps consider putting maybe some sticky tape or some super glue, something to keep it stuck on there once you're happy with the position. This is like the best thing, like honestly, I'm so proud of you. Well, we got the cable up there, we got the camera connected there. Well, we don't have the connection back to our NVR, so let's do that right now. Now I could just extend it out and plug it in. I could just do that. But what I want to do is I want to go through the walls. So I can use the fish tape, place the cable along this wall and put it back down through there. Push the fish tape through, cut a hole in the plasterboard and then I've got a nice connection. But I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to be putting my NVR and you need to be a bit strategic about where you put your NVR because if a criminal comes in as soon as they nab the NVR, they have all of the footage. So you want to put it in a place to give you maybe a minute or two, enough time for you to upload the video files to a backup cloud so you actually have the evidence of the break-in. So uh, I'm still figuring out where I'm going to put the NVR. So for now, I'm going to use the existing holes in the wall cavity to connect to the NVR. So over here, I've got an air conditioning pipe and there's a nice already existing pipe where a conduit is going through. So there should be enough space for me to get my um, RJ45 cable over into the inside of the attic. So I'm gonna go up there one more time. I'm gonna fish this wire through. Should be easy, because it's a big, big cavity there and it should just pop through there. Boom, should be in. Show me, show me, show me. It just takes a few seconds, so it's loading the stream. Boom. We got it right there oh. on the screen. So I'm going to go play and fine tune it. Hello. Again. Okay. Got a bit of the driveway. I got a bit of a pedestrian gate. So I got nice coverage and hopefully I'll get myself um, digging up these roots. I kind of want to do a time lapse of me playing with the garden. Now, what's next? I've got coverage up to here from that wide angle. So next up, I think I'm going to be placing one over here on this angle so I can get this field in front of me. Now this setup is going to be a little bit trickier because I don't actually have an access panel to get up there. So I'm going to actually be getting my ladder, going up there, removing the tiles, jumping in through the ceiling, getting the wire through there and then finding a way to fish it through, maybe going to the, the actual roof attic and uh, connected to the NVR. So that's gonna be a fun project. So make sure you hit subscribe and uh, stay tuned for that one if you like. Hope you guys found this tutorial video on how to wire up your security camera setup. I'm surprised it actually worked. It took me a lot longer first time around, but I'm sure in the second episode and the second time I do it, it's gonna be a lot quicker. But at least it's working. And we even water, water sealed it, so it's bad. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. to the world 
that I'm very proud of this young man who has taken it upon himself to remove himself from his comfort zone of typing in computer nerding to actually making holes in walls and feeding through networking. I, this is something that you've really wanted to do for such a long time. I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. Congratulations and well done. I'm not finished because I need to get some silicon and uh, tidy up Yeah, the but holes. the fact that it actually works is like... You're surprised. <laughs> yeah. She's surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised it works. Well done. There you go. Proud of you, baby. So proud of you. <laughs> I'm so proud.